Greetings, fellow travelers. Today, I would like to spark a conversation about respect. The only respect one owes is to themselves. That's all that matters. Quote Neville Goddard, the world is you pushed out. So if you do not have respect for self, you're unable to give same said respect to others and vice versa. If you don't have respect for self, there's a, a deficiency in the capacity to receive respect. Something to think about. On my way in life, on my journey in life, I've come across various understandings as far as myself. And the things that I believe that the world owed to me, I owe to myself. Respect was one of those things. The more respect I gave to self, the more relationships diminished. Learning lesson. Those relationships didn't have respect in them. The more I developed respect for myself, the more I understood some of the obstacles that I encounter on my way. Now, this is not the end all be all. This is not the magnum opus of my life. This is not the answer for every problem. No. It's a simple understanding. And in having an understanding with myself, it allows me to give myself as well as others grace. It allows me to understand when I'm operating from a place of respect and when I encounter those who do not operate from that same perspective. Now, in that understanding, I move accordingly. There's no need to be malicious. It's not even a reason to be angry. It's not a reason to be uncomfortable. But it is empowering to know that I'm moving from a place of respect. And that will get better over time. I mean, let's be honest. We could all use a little work. That's fine. But for myself, There's no need to go out of my way. And this is from family, friends, strangers, all the alike. Because the world is me pushed out, correct? So moving within that premise, I will experience polarity. That's fine. That's part of divine order. I accept that. However, I was taught or more so encouraged growing up that I must put on my nicest face and do unto others as others do unto me. But make sure I'm not mean. Make sure I don't make anyone feel bad. Why well, do I do both? How do you play offense and defense at the same time? So I begin to learn more about myself and I change my approach. Move respectfully. And for those who are not able to receive it, okay. It's more telling of them than me. See, I was of the mind uh, in, in various instances in my life reflected this back to me as well. I was of the mind that as long as you treat people nicely or appear to be nice, that they would treat you the same way in kind. Like, <laughs> Couldn't be further from the truth. You see, I thought if I walked into a, a, a place of business or into a certain environment and people respond to me a certain way, I used to think that I was wrong. I used to beat myself up. I used to say, man, why did you do that? Or why didn't you do? No. Prime example. Last week, I go into UPS. 
my daughters are with me i'm stoic because i'm in their own business i'm not in there to play around i'm not in there to small talk no i need to get this information that i have with me on this document notarized i want to send it off as fast as possible and i'm going about my day go with my daughter to the park i walk in me and a couple of the employees uh meet eyes i move about i'm not going to throw in a smile to break up the awkwardness i'm not going to act nervous no, i move about go get in line i get in line the person I locked eyes with, one of them, is at the register. I'm calm. Just peaceful. I hear about my business. This individual wouldn't even look me in the eyes. He just spoke to me. Uh, he pointed me over to a station, but he wouldn't look me in the eyes. Like, I don't want to say the individual was intimidated, but he seemed uncomfortable. And in doing that, it was as if he wouldn't acknowledge me. Okay. The old me would have been very offended by it. But nowadays I understand I'm here on business. I'm not here to be friendly. I'm not here to be mean. I'm here on business. He pointed me to my direction. Thank you, sir. Went on over. The next employee. He made some slick remarks. Uh, directed towards me very uh i'll say indirectly about me i said it that way another individual won't let me in my eyes uh had a very dense uh energy about himself all right thank you for your service run me up okay have a good day sir left i bring up this situation because Growing up, I would leave feeling so bad that I didn't make anybody smile. I would feel so bad that there was a moment of discomfort. I would beat myself up for somebody else's actions or response to me. And it's very telling of how I grew to understand myself more. Because I was taking on other people's issues and problems. That's not healthy. I don't recommend it for anybody. I really don't see me presenting myself a certain way, being focused on the business and not on the satisfaction of others. Many times it's perceived a certain way. And I understand that before I didn't, I really didn't get it, but I truly understand it more now. I don't have it all figured out again, but I get it. When you have a certain disposition, I'm not in there like I own the place. I'm strictly about my business. And I've come to realize that, and this just may be in the area that I'm in. It's just maybe a Midwest thing. I don't know. But it appears that people would rather have a surface level or a uh, a very false type of interaction and feel seen and then to not be seen at all and i i hope that makes sense to me it does I hope it makes sense to you it's simply understanding of i came here to do business they're there to earn money they're not there to make me the happiest customer that's a cool incentive. But they're not there for me. They're there for themselves. I'm there for myself. We can conduct business accordingly. We don't have to like each other, love each other. None of that. And that's okay. That's really okay. I'm not the kind of first I'm not the kind of person that feels bad because the customer service was terrible. I'm not saying that about the UPS experiment. I mean experience. No, not at all. I'm simply saying if I go somewhere to get something, that's what I focus on, the end goal. All the the particulars in between, it really doesn't matter unless it changes the end goal. And I mean, maybe that's a blind spot of my own. You know, I was, I was taught growing up, hey, 
and to be nice to everybody. You never know who you're running into. I get that. I really do. However, if I know my end goal, I know my focus, I know my aim, that's what matters. And me focusing on that, it doesn't give me the right to treat anybody like shit along the way. I don't. Simply being focused can rub people the wrong way. I bring this back to respect. Having respect for the reason that I'm there and my personal goal, that matters more than going out of my way to receive a surface level appearance of respect from others. I don't know. Maybe I'm going in the wrong direction. You tell me. For myself? Nah, it feels more like right. I would love to hear your insights. And being honest with you. Until the next time, be safe on your way, travelers. <laughs>